This simple strategy is helping people earn $300 to $500 from local businesses. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how they're doing it using a tool inside of High Level, a tool that most people don't even know exists. You don't need to run ads, you don't need a course, and you definitely don't need an SEO guru. It's all about using High Level's GMB optimization tool to tune up a business's Google business profile, which is the number one place that customers go when they search for local services. People are finding businesses with poorly optimized profiles, running a full audit in seconds, and offering optimization as a $300 foot in the door service or even a monthly retainer. If you like this video, share it with a friend that you want to start this business with. I'll leave a link at the end of this video that gets you over $8,000 worth of bonuses and goodies. And just so you know, this video will cover what the tool does, how to find clients, and how to set it up. I'll show you how the entire system works in just three steps. All right, let's jump straight in. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find the leads that you can then sell the service to. You can very easily do this by searching your niche in Google, have a scroll through the different pages, and then you want to go through these different profiles over here. And there's a couple of things you want to look for. You want to look for profiles that have low photo count, missing hours, no description, no services listed, bad images or dark or blurry images, and low or no reviews. Those are key prospects that could really benefit from this service. Let's take a look at my example over here. So I searched for bathroom remodelers and I found this company over here. You can see they only have one star review, so they are already a really good prospect. But just to show you a quick example of having more information and how it looks better, if you look at this business, they've got their address, the areas they serve, their hours, and their phone number. Yes, they only have one review, so you can help them out there. But if I look at the one just below it, like this one over here, look at the difference when I click on it. Did you notice how this overview had no information besides the short description? This is the information that leads are looking for. So if you don't have that, it's very easy to skip you as a business and go to your competitor. Let's look at another one. If I go to the one just under that and click on it, exact same situation. They also have no information about their business besides the description. They have no opening hours, no phone number. These are key things that will also help the business rank higher on Google. And this was only on page three that I found. There are hundreds, if not thousands of businesses and every single town that could do with some Google optimization. Again, you're helping them rank higher on Google so that they can get more leads and obviously make more money. Okay, so once you've found your leads, then reach out to them, try and get in front of the decision maker and make sure the messaging that you send out is talking about the problem that you will solve as well as the desired outcome. You don't want to send them a message when you're talking about features because if they understood what you're saying, they would have done it themselves. So focus on the desired outcome, not the features. Okay, so once you've got a couple leads, we can now finally move on to step two. Step two is to set up your leads or clients inside of the high level account. So once you have a high level subscription, you want to make sure you've added your client as a sub account. Once you do that, we want to add their Google business profile into that account. This is so that we can automatically optimize their Google business profile. It's very simple. All you have to do is go down to settings in the bottom left hand side. Then again, on the left hand side, scroll down to integrations. And then you want to get your client to sign in with Google over here. It's best to do this on the onboarding call to prevent over contacting them or going back and forth. So just do it on the onboarding call, get connected, and then you can do the rest. So once their page is connected, now we can go to the GMB optimization tool inside of high level. Simply click on go back in the top left corner, scroll down to reputation, and then you'll see over here GBP optimization, which stands for Google business profile. So click on that. And if you haven't integrated your client's account, there will be a blue button in the center of the screen that will take you to the place where I just came from, the integrations page. But once it's integrated, it will look like this. Very simply at the top, you'll see a GBP score optimization. You can see our example company has a score of 14 out of 16. This means we're only two points away to be fully optimized. So if I go back to Google quickly, this information all over here, can be adjusted inside this tool. Instead of logging into your client's business profiles and changing it there, you do it all within the account. If I come back, you can see we can change the name, add a description, where if I click on edit, you can add or change a description and then click on save. Then you come down to images. You wanna make sure there is up-to-date images on their profile that is not dark or blurry or not weird images that are just taken and posted like of a person in a car, which is surprisingly common, but of actual results or smiling people. And this for our kids swimming company, we've got happy faces, blue waters, where it looks like people are having fun. Then below that, we've added the phone number. And then you'll see in our case, and the reason that we don't have a perfect score is because we don't have a chat function on our profile. So that's something that we can change. And you can do that very simply by clicking on the pencil icon. And if we want to do it by SMS, we can just simply add the number. Once we do that, click on save and it'll be updated. So in your case, you wanna do this for all the different sections inside their profile to make sure they have the highest chance to rank the highest. Great, so once you've filled in all the information, including the open hours, you'll see on the right-hand side here, the preview of what 
it will look like. Then in the top left corner, you can click on social profiles, add a link to all the different social profiles, click on save, and then come down to scheduled posts. So these two over here, the reviews and the scheduled posts will be part of step three inside our plan. And that is to create upsells for our clients. So instead of just offering this service, it's a perfect segue to also offer them scheduled posts or automatic review responses so that we can increase our monthly retainer. If you click on this, it will take you to the social media planner where you can just schedule photos to be posted on their Google business profile. I'm just gonna jump back here to give you one more piece of advice. When you get to the images step, please make sure you don't upload so many pictures at one time. If you do add a whole bunch of images in one go, then you take the chance of getting your client's profile banned. So it's best to break it up, take it in stages when adding photos. And that's the exact strategy that people are using to land 300 to $500 clients, helping local businesses improve their Google business profile without cold calling, without paid ads, and without needing any SEO background. If you have a business friend and you can see yourself offering this together or adding it to your service stack, share this video with them and go and build it. And like I mentioned earlier, if you want some great bonuses to the software, as well as a 30 day free trial, comment optimize down below and I'll send you a link to that. Thanks again for watching and good luck.